Hello, today I would like to explain how to use the Oriba Lacroix data acquisition software to be used with the Oriba pH meter, benchtop pH meter. So today we will use uh, the connection uh, USB cable to connect the meter from the computer. We have here downloaded the software and we can do the importation of the data saved on the meter or we can also save directly the data as we are doing the measurement with the software so two options do the acquisition of the meter memory or doing the measurement and saving the measurement at the same time that we are measuring first we will select the measurement mode and then go to device setting where we can display the channel on the parameter we want to measure. On the channel 1, we have pH, millivolt, ORP, or ion. On the channel 2, connectivity, salinity, resistivity, and TDS. We can also adjust the interval between each measurement from 2 to 3600 seconds. To start the measurement, we will press on the start button, and then we will see the measurement value on the screen. We can also configure the display by showing different uh, windows. The first one, which, which is the measurement value. The second one is the graph. But this graph is going to be only displayed at the end of the measurement when you press stop. And we can also show the measure, measurement information, which is the, the parameter we are measuring, the meter you you are using who is the user, what is the sample ID, what is the date, uh, all those, and also information relative to the calibration. When we stop the measurement, you can see the graph is displayed, and we can generate a report uh, saved as PDF. We generate the PDF, save it on the computer. And then here we can see the complete report, including the graph, the different measurement value, uh, who was the user, what was the date and the time, the sample ID and the calibration data. And, the, and this for both channels. But the other way to do it is to import the data which were saved on the meter memory. So to do this, we select uh, memory data and then data collection. As we can see the data saved appearing on the screen, we can tick the box to show on the graph only the data we want to see. And then we can generate the graph. And then as we did before, uh, we can generate a report saved as PDF on the computer memory. I hope this information was useful for you. See you soon on another video. Bye-bye.